Hi, it's Keon here. Today I have the special pleasure of eating Mama's dumplings. Uh, we're going to go home and cook them from frozen and show you how easy it is to make from home and what our favorite sauces are. And uh, the best part is eating and trying those out. So we'll get back to you and let you know how we do. See ya! Okay, so today we have the good old signature meat dumplings. And we're also doing the vegan ones. And also the pork and dill. It's relatively easy. We're just going to heat up the pan and a uh, medium heat. Add our dumplings in, a little bit of oil on the bottom, a little bit of water to cover it, and then steam them up. And then once the water evaporates, they turn into a pan fryer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Signature. The vegan, yes, we're going to put them together because we like our meat. Oh. <laughs> And each pack comes with some sauces too. This is the hoisin sauce. Pork and dill. And just a little bit of oil in the pan. Vegetable, canola, olive, whichever you need. And I like to use the lid for my measuring cup. So about that much water. <laughs> Cover it up, let it cook. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so these have been on for a little bit now. We're just going to check them and see how they're doing. They should be boiling up really nice now. You see? Oops. Stir it up a little bit just to make sure it doesn't stick on the pan. Oh, looks like we might have a little bit too much water here. So what we're going to do, the water there is just to help it defrost. So what we're going to do is, uh, the best solution possible is add more dumplings. <laughs> Now we just caught it just in the right phase where it's not too cooked. We're trying to play catch up with raw and somewhat cooked. So we'll put it in there. Mix up just a little bit more. Try to keep this all separated. Alright, we'll check back in a bit. Okay, so while we're waiting for our dumplings to cook, we're going to make up our sauce. Um, I like to have the dark vinegar in mine. I like a lot of stuff in mine. It's a little bit of dark vinegar there. And of course the hoisin sauce. Two packets is nice. Some good old sriracha. Who doesn't like sriracha? And then Cindy, she likes just good old red wine vinegar with hers. All right, so it's been a few more minutes to check on our dumplings. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Give it a quick stir again. Make sure nothing sticks. Looking good. All right, a few more minutes and we'll check back in again. Okay, so it's been a few minutes here now. A few more minutes. Checking on these dumplings. Oh, they're looking really good. Looks like they're almost done here. Let's give them another stir. Make sure, again, they're not sticking to the pan too much. We don't like them too crispy on the bottom. A little bit in the middle. A little bit of crunch on the bottom. But they're soft enough that they're nice and yummy on the top. Yeah, that looks really good. A couple broke open there, but... Oh, it down the same. A few more minutes. Okay, so we're just checking our final product now. Wow, that looks really good. Nice and crispy on the bottom. And it's gonna go to plate. And there's one. Okay, so here we all plated up. We got our sauces ready there. She just got her plate and there's Rachel's over here. She's already starting to eat. I think there's one missing, but yeah, we'll let you know in a little bit.
Good times. Wow, that was an amazing lunch of dumplings. Mama's dumplings, really good stuff. So we found, uh, we liked all of them, but ones we liked the best. For me personally, I liked the, uh, the regular flavored one. And uh, Cindy, she liked the dill, but not as much as the regular. And Rachel, she liked the, the dill, the, the pork and dill one. So really enjoyed all of them. The vegan one was really nice too. I liked the noodles inside. That was a really nice change for, for the palate, if you will. And uh, with the sauces, they're playing really good. So make sure you check out Mama's Dumplings, and uh, we'll see you all next time.